I just want to read something for you. I don't have anything to really open it with. I just want to read this to you and pray that it comforts you wherever you might be today. Um, in the book of Isaiah, it says, As one whom his mother comforts, so I will comfort you. Isaiah 66, 13. Our God, the mighty, powerful, fierce God of the universe, desires to comfort us like a mother comforts her child. With tenderness, gentleness, and delicate care, he desires to rock us to sleep, listen to our cries, and wipe away our tears. And as he does, he recites over us, I am here, I got you, I am here. He sees you when the pregnancy test comes back negative. He sees you when you don't get the job. He sees you when the relationship you thought would last forever fails. He sees you when you look in the mirror and hate what reflects back. He sees you when the healing doesn't come and the pain doesn't go away. He sees you when you are ridden with grief and overwhelmed by loss. He sees you when the days of motherhood are harder than you imagined. He sees you when the diagnosis is the one you prayed would never come. He sees you when loneliness feels like your second name. He sees you when your song has become the song of suffering. He sees you, he sees you, he sees you. So stop settling for the cheap imitations of comfort this world hands us. Don't give up on God because the suffering is still here. Don't find a home in the temporary numbness of a false God. Don't fight the God who rocks you, holds you, and takes care of you. Don't push his hand away when he attempts to wipe your tears. Don't shut his voice out when he sings you to sleep. Don't miss him comforting you like a mother comforts her child. He sees your pain and is holding you close each and every day. If you need some comfort in this season of suffering, run to the loving arms of the God who hears your cries and rocks you to sleep every night. He is with you like a mother near her child, and he is excited to comfort you where you are, exactly as you are, in the here and now of this very moment. He is here, he's got you, he is here. I think this speaks for itself, but this season of suffering that I just got out of um, seemed like it was forever but it was maybe a month the one thing I wish I didn't do was push God away um, try to convince him that I wasn't worth him pursuing that I wasn't worth him comforting and I instead of clinging to him I pushed him away and um, maybe it would have been easier to get through that time if I hadn't done that. But then I also see the lessons or the ways that I've learned more about him through that. So don't run from him. Let him hold you because he sees you. And there's no more beautiful truth than that. So he loves you and I love you.